Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jimmy and today we're going to take a look at the latest software update for Samsung One UI 6.0 with Android 14. Now this one is beta 5. Now the good thing about this one here that I'm noticing in the screen is that there is no area or section referred to as known issues. If you remember beta 1, 2, 3, and 4, they all had a section that was called known issues. Even if you take a look back just five days ago when we got the last update on September 22nd, we had this section here called known issues and it was basically here this entire beta season now the cool thing is that you do not have it with this update which tells me this one could be the last or maybe there's just a one little final one after this to do the small little fixes now this one is going to be at the size of 709 megabytes you still have that october 1st patch and the version ends in z w i k so in terms of the bug fixes that were fixed they were able to fix the problem of not being able to record during a uh, call also fixed no touch at the bottom of the screen or ghost touch issue they also fixed the issues of stuck after entering camera forced termination and not being able to take any photos uh, fixed the problem of not being able to use motion photo fixed infinite rebooting problem when entering maintenance mode and many other improvements. Now, I don't really know exactly what all the other improvements is, but we will be updating this thing. We're gonna take a look to see if we can find anything else that's new. We'll also take a look at kids mode. Kids mode was one of those things that was never really attached to Samsung One UI 6.0. So we're gonna take a look at that. We're also gonna take a look at several other Samsung applications and services. And we'll also take a look inside of the Galaxy Store to see if there's any newer versions sitting there. And then also take a look inside of GoodLock to see if there's any of those newer models modules or any module that works with Samsung One UI 6.0 yet. Now, if there is no modules working for good luck, then maybe we're going to see an update maybe sometime in October or November. And I know for a fact we're going to get a brand new good luck next year, maybe February or March. So in this way, it's going to be right around the next launch of Samsung's next large device. And what I mean by large device, I just mean the Galaxy S24. So basically, at this point of the video, I'm just going to state that if you're brand new here at the channel Jimmy is Promo, you appreciate these tips, tricks, tutorials, and the latest information on your Samsung Galaxy devices make sure to hit on that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications so you get notified for all future videos so now that the update is done and complete how about we go through some of these services applications and we'll also take a look at samsung mobile security because last time that we updated this five days ago we were not able to see any details of what was happening on this update from the samsung side of things and also on the google side of things on if something was you know light moderate or critical in terms of some of their updates now, first off, when it comes down over into Samsung Home, this is something I always like to look at every single update. The last Samsung Home that we had was 15001154. This one is 15001164. So it looks like we have a new version of Samsung Home here. And we also had a newer version of Samsung Home be the update before this because it was helping with the Google on the very bottom when you swiped up and over. So this way the assistant would also pop up. Now we're gonna head over into the camera and I do believe that there should be an update sitting here just because it was talking about motion photos and a few other things that it was able to fix. So this version of camera was updated or at least originally was at 14.0.0.0.6.7. This one's now at 14.0.0.0.7.2. So again, newer version of the camera. One of the main things here is that motion photo was actually fixed, and so you should be able to select that option. Now, let's take a look at gallery. Don't know if there's gonna be anything new here. I always like to look at this one as well. This one before the update was 15.0.0.0.28. This one's now 15.0.0.0.29. And then lastly, we'll take a look at Samsung's phone. And I believe that there should be an update here because it mentioned something about a bug fix inside of the phone. Before the update, it was 15.0.28. It is now 15.0.31. Now, going back to the update, I was very curious on what it stated about the phone. I remember something about the phone. I believe it was about making, uh, doing a recording. So yeah, it looks as if they fixed the problem of not being able to record during a call. So yeah, that one was now actually fixed. Now, how about we take a look inside of the Galaxy Store? Just because after an update, you definitely want to take a look at the Galaxy Store. I believe that there was one or two things sitting in there that was new. So I'm going to see if it was updated. So uh, let's see here. So for Samsung account, now creating a new account or logging in requires two form authentication. Now I do remember that there was another one sitting in here. I remember before I updated, I should have taken a screenshot. There was one more sitting in here and I can't remember what it was, but it was a Samsung application. And it looks as if with this update, that one updated with 
the update itself. Now, how about we take a look inside of Goodlock because I know a lot of people always ask questions about when is all of these modules going to work and, and get all updated and everything. So Theme Park, the last time I knew, did not work. I know uh, the uh, Pentastic worked. Wonderland also worked right over here. I believe this one, the Lockstar, Lockstar did not work. Keys Cafe looks as if it does work. It is turning on. I don't really use Keys Cafe. Looks like Navstar is still unplugged. And then when it comes on to Home Up, that one does not work. And then Clock Face definitely works with the lock screen and the home screen. When it comes down to all of these ones here, all of these do work except for Noti Star when it comes down to the Life Up tab. So inside the camera where we mentioned from before that you were not able to do motion photo. So now you're actually able to turn this little function on. And basically what it does is it kind of records a little segment before the shutter actually went off. So when you take a picture of something, you can actually capture what happened immediately right before the photo was taken. It's a pretty cool feature. Oh, yeah, and I also mentioned that we wanted to take a look at kids mode. Kids mode was something that was not working on Samsung One UI 6.0 during this full entire thing. So all you have to do is click on kids mode one more time. You'll be able to actually get inside of it. It does now actually work. And the other thing that you can do now is you can actually go inside of your maintenance mode. It's not supposed to do the infinite bootloader little loop. So if you go back over inside of your device care and you scroll down and you went over into maintenance mode and you wanted to turn this one on, you're now able to do this. It's not going to go in the infinite loop. And it's a way that you're able to basically have your phone safe. If anybody was to maintenance your phone, try to fix some things, find some things, fix the screen, whatever the case, it basically just locks all of your personal information, your data, your logins, your applications, all of your images, pretty much every single thing that they don't even need to have any access to or even see see or take a look at. It's specifically only just to fix the device, not to take a look at your personal information. And then the last thing that I want to throw in on this one was that with the last update, anytime I had a notification, it was actually the same color or a working color with my color palette. It wasn't showing the actual physical application logo anymore. So all you'd have to do to fix this or change it to whichever you would like is when you go inside of your settings, you click on notifications, then inside of notifications, you click on advanced settings. And and you have this option right here. So if you select this one and it's turning on, it will show the actual app icon as the way it's supposed to look. So all of the applications on your phone, whatever color, any way that it looks, it will now show up in your notifications panel. If you turn this off, all it's going to do is it's going to show you all of your notifications with the logo right there of the application icon, but it's going to be a different color that is associated with your color palette. So either way you want it to be, if you want it to look like your color palette, turn this thing off. If you want to show the actual literal application icon of the way it looks on your phone, then you just want to turn that one on. Now, I also want to take a look inside of the Samsung mobile security. Let's see if they actually have anything written uh, because technically it's not even August 1st yet and we have the August 1st patch since five days ago. So in order for me to take a look at all of the Samsung mobile security information, I just went inside of the software information page and right here, when you go inside of the Android security patch, I can tap on this one. My phone is unlocked. I believe there's some people either in different countries or even different providers or carriers. They're not able to actually have this just sit there linked up. So we're gonna go inside of the Google side, click on the Samsung side and here we are still no security updates. The, the, the small minute details of what was actually happening with the update on the back end. This is where you can actually see what was critical, what was high, what was moderate. Everything on the top is all dealing with Google. Then everything down over here is dealing with Samsung. So all of the SVE is dealing with the, the Samsung versions update right here. So nothing to go off of with this update here for the month of October, but hopefully very soon, maybe with the final launch sometime next month, for Samsung One UI 6.0 with Android 14 is probably when we'll be able to actually see what was updated on the back end of things. Now, this was pretty much everything that I was able to really show off with this, this little update. If there is something else that's hidden inside of here that I did not find just yet, then I'll make sure I let you guys know. I'll make a follow-up video if there's anything that I missed, as I do all the time. And hopefully you guys appreciated this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.